Okay, so we've talked about the query parameter versioning in the last video in in our series about URL versioning in Django REST framework. We've demonstrated how you can customize the query parameter versioning and create a class that inherits from query parameter versioning as we can see in this class we have a class name premium query parameter versioning that inherits properties from the query parameter versioning we customize our default version and the allow version attributes as well as the version underscore param attribute so in this video we'll be using the accept header versioning class we are going to customize our versioning class instead of using the query the premium query parameter versioning we are going to quickly create a class called premium accept header versioning to do so we can we can simply create let's create another file in versioning package um can do that this way let's do that this way list premium touch versioning and we name the file premium accept error versioning which is a python file create our file we can just one click here to refresh folder so we need to create the class okay premium accept error versioning which should inherit its property from from django versioning import the accept error versioning class and uh, we should use we could have used uh, the default version let's say the default version will be 1.0 and uh, the next attribute we have the allow version the allow version will be something like a x for x in the range of 1 to 8 and we want our uh, our values to be of type string we can stringify this but if we stringify that without dot zero we don't have we could have something like a two dot zero so we need something like a float so we can stringify that and then we're expecting a float So we go from integers to floats, from floats to string, and this will retain something like a 1.0 to 8.0. Eight, I mean of course, we need the version parameter, which will be version. Pretty simple. We have the default versioning. We have uh, the version parameter and the allow version, which should be a list or any sequence separated by comma. Next, we need to switch our versioning class. In premium view sets, instead of using the query parameter versioning, we'll be using the premium accept error versioning. So let's import that from premium in versioning package from premium accept edit imports the premium accept edit class. We copy that. So we switch now from query parameter versioning to premium accept edit premium accept edit versioning, which means instead of issuing our requests such as HTTP domain 
slash path slash path forward slash version equal x which is which may be 1.0 we will now issue the request with the default path something like a http column number four slash we use the ns www dot domain dot com slash path slash path without passing any query parameter versioning but in this instance we need to pass the accept error in our error which is in the request uh, construct so in the request construct we need to pass the error accept with something like a version equal 1.0 to demonstrate that we can yeah we already running the server here the server will refresh of course let's try to issue a curl request uh, with the verb gates http local os a thousand for premium or slash premiums and see what's gonna happen so we get our premium objects as a json object we didn't get any error why even if we didn't specify the the version but i still passing with the premium accept error it's still passing because we because we have a default version which is 1.0 to see that we can go back to our test of course the test has evolved now we need to test the premium as you can see we made a lot of change since the last video where we talked about the http forwarded for so we got test the oh, premium url so we can validate that we're getting the right version of course we are now getting the remote address we need to get the http accept error and uh, we don't want to implement the list from the parent we're gonna return the response what are we expecting to test so we want to make sure that your request version will be the URL that the user has used to issue the request, but we don't need the query parameter version here. So let's remove. So we remove the query parameter version and uh, let's call down the request URL. And we be assigning the request URL to be the user URL. So user URL, user URL, user URL. To do so, request, yeah, request URL, request URL, and uh, yeah. We expect the, we have to get a full path, get full path. Okay. We can't find the keywords requested, but we got fixed that. Okay, there is no accept error issue for this test. 
So to test that, we need to modify the header or the request in the HTTP X accept. HTTP accept here. There we go. The version to 0 0.1, which means uh, if we try to issue a request using premium slash premiums, the URL will be valid. Test the local us. A thousand premium slash premiums. Okay, now we get the correct. Let's see that the request is passed. We need to make that pretty. It use accept application. JSON version equal. Uh, we'll be using 2.0 to make sure that we're using the correct version from this allowed version. And of course, with indentation, indent equal 4. There we go. Pretty simple. We've created a new class to recap, or we've created a new class that extends from the accept and versioning. We defined our required properties, if no attributes, the default version, the allowed versions, and the version parameter. We apply our customized accept error versioning using the property versioning class in our view sets. And lastly, we've test to make sure that the URL is valid. So if we wanna verify that the user has issued the wrong version in the URL header, we can issue a request to HTTP local os a thousand for slash premium for slash premiums. We pass the error accept application JSON version. Let's say done. We can also indent with four tab. It could not satisfy the request accept error. Hit the corrector. There we go. Okay, that's all for the um, accept error version as the scheme in Django Rest for more version is. Okay, the motion. I'll see you in the next slide.